Okay, here we're looking at a, a single pole breaker. Uh, this is a half breaker. It's made for fitting in a slot where two could be placed for one. These are kind of the LT pole breakers. Uh, this one, when it has kicked off, look, we'll put these two beside each other. Let's see. Okay, you can see these are the same breaker but the one on the right is in the on position if I turn it to the off position it's like this one here is in the center position that means it's tripped now the only way to get this in the uh, to back on again is if you try to push it to the on position it won't go if I pull it all the way over then if I push hard enough it'll come back on. Uh, so they have to be turned all the way off and then back on. Uh, that's most all breakers anymore. Now this breaker here has been torn apart and uh, I've got it set up so that it's already off and if I go to turn it on you can see that little set of contacts right there in the bottom. It's right there now they're uh, closed and you'll have power through the breaker. Uh, if you just turn it off, they pop open. Okay. Uh, it's coming from this side off over to here. But this hooks up to the bus bar on the breaker and feeds power there. And if it's running normally, here again, right through the wire, through here, and back to there, and out. Now, there is a bimetal in these things. Now, bimetal is just two different metals put together, usually copper and steel. And they expand and contract at different rates, so that if they heat up or cool down, they'll actually bend, because one, copper expands a lot faster, uh, or a lot more, than uh, steel does and so it tends to bend as the temperature changes. This is a safety device for these uh, breakers. The power is actually going up through here and through this bimetal. And I'll show you that bimetal up close. But uh, it's passing through the bimetal and now if you see this little part right here there's a little ledge right there and if this warps this way which is going to happen when that bimetal moves if it warps this way it releases this piece here which allows this whole mess to go to the, uh, to the uh, tripped position so as this bimetal inside here warps it pulls this this way and this pops down and everything opens up. Okay, this is just a demonstration of the bimetal that's used inside of a breaker to uh, kick it off on overload. Uh, this is your bimetal right here. Power passes through the bimetal from here over through here over to the wire and into the breaker, uh, into the me mechanism of the breaker. Uh, if this moves, and it doesn't have to move very far uh, because there's heat builds up as the electricity goes through. There's a certain specific amount of resistance in this thing and heat will build up if there's more amperage going through it than it normally should have. This one here, you can see it says 20 and that's 20 amp. So it's rated for that. Let's see if we can warm this thing up and make it uh, warp. It's going to warp a fairly small amount, but let's see if we can see it. Now you can see that bending down there like that. That's all it takes. Just a little bit there. And that will kick that thing off. That's how that uh, bimetal works. And this is a slow-mo illustration of the contacts opening up.
and that's the operation of the panel breaker.